get him. He's okay. <laughs> Is that the one I just casted out? Yep. Oh. He ain't moving him very easy, dude. No, he's not. River Rats, we are out on this absolutely gorgeous river that just happens to have absolutely monstrous fish. We've caught a few already, but we got more time to spend out here. I'm actually getting a bite right now, and uh, we're gonna try to put a few more in the boat. So let's go. So we're out here on one of my favorite places in the whole wide world of fishing. And uh, we got big plans. Not anything like, you know, big things coming or anything awkward like that when people say weird stuff like, you know, big, stay tuned, big stuff coming. No, uh, we're just gonna camp and we're gonna be here a while. I got Chris, the uh, Ted Nugent of catfishing and he just loves it when i say that do you do you not like uncle ted well he's in his 70s and i'm not quite that old so. oh chris is sensitive about his age we, we don't talk about that though <laughs> we might talk about that a lot that's right <laughs> it's just the low-hanging fruit of things to pick on you for but yeah we're we're set up on some submerged brush I think we're gonna end up giving this spot right here five more minutes and we'll slide down a little ways and give it a little bit more time. And we're camping on an island, which is kind of neat. Sandbars are cool, but I think islands are cooler. It's just me. No comment. We probably got all we're gonna get out of this spot. Reel them fast off the bottom. You know what we should have done? Since we're gonna eat brisket for dinner, we should have got like potato salad or something. Or coleslaw. I really dropped the ball on that one, I apologize. Yeah, when I laid into them. Oop. That might be a real, there you go. <laughs> he's a real one. Ooh, he's pulling back on you, bud. This is a terrible filming angle. I'm gonna do my best. I look better in silhouette anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that rod is a special kind of folded over. Is he? Oh yeah, I'll get the net. Yeah, I mean the fact that he hasn't just sprinted at you tells me he's pretty darn decent. What's your biggest blue? That one I call you, 54, 55. Oh yeah. I don't know if he's gonna be that big, but he's pretty nice. Oh yeah. He's pretty nice. He, Definitely a good one. Yeah. Reel down and try to steer him to your left a little bit. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Uh, has last couple days. Usually it's the other way around. Wow, he's a porky one, man. Yep. He's not the easiest to lift in the boat. Let's see if I can get that hook out of his mouth. Oh, he's hooked in the center, but he's hooked very well. It's pretty much out, but he's like hanging on to it. Ow! Ow! Is that my blood or his? <laughs> <laughs> This spot doesn't suck, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> it does not. Well, let's see what he is. Is he gonna go 40? You're dead. 45. 
It's about what I thought. Is that why you said 45? Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> catch one, move slightly, catch another one. Think we can do it a third time? Be nice. You still got your bait on that. Too. I'm gonna sit down with it. I don't blame you. Not a bad start to the day. He, unfortunately, he doesn't like this. This angle doesn't do him justice. Um, I don't know. He's a dandy. I think we discovered that it was, in fact, my blood, not or the fish's blood, not my blood. It's always a plus. Yeah. So yes, I'll call that a win. But it's a good start. Get some photos for you. And let them go. Let them grow, bud. There you go. Back to the depths. <laughs> that was super cringy. That was perfect. <laughs> Get him back in. Maybe we'll catch another one. Go back there. <laughs> well, same to you, pal. Yep. Well, I mean, you can't blame him. I wouldn't blame him. I feel like I would have tried to do way worse than that if I was in his shoes, just saying. <laughs> Sweet. All right, guess we'll catch another one. Last spot before we gotta go get camp set up. Hopefully it's a nice spot. It looks like a nice spot. A little bit more current, but not a crazy amount of current. Still pretty optimistic. Bring on the 100 pounder. Oh, there's a nibble. I don't want that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he for real? Uh, it's a channel cat, maybe. Well, oh, I missed him. Was definitely me, not the hook. The only, the only reason I missed him was to make you feel better. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want that one? Well, that's a good one. He's okay. <laughs> well, he just grew up all of a sudden. I don't think he ain't as big as yours, bud. He ain't bad though. I'm glad he bit. And I'm happy that we're gonna have one at our last spot before we go back to camp. He's squirrely. Is he gonna be netter quality? I wanna get that net ready. He's getting close. Oh yeah, I see the fork tail already. He's okay. Thanks, buddy. Hook just popped out. Probably should have let him pull it down a little bit better. Still trying to figure out, do I reel down on those? Do I set those? Like, what's the best way of dealing with those? But. They've done a good job, even with me not knowing what I'm doing. Yeah. Teener. Yeah. 
tag teams. Yeah. yeah. Last spot before we go back to camp produces. It's kind of nice. We went three in a row. That's a streak. After going one for one, <laughs> and then oh for like ten. <laughs> but yeah, he's a he's a nice one. Au revoir, bud. All right, now you get to reel in the hundred. Get him. He's okay. <laughs> Is that the one I just casted out? Yep. Did he just run under that other one? Yep. Or over it? He had to go over. Oh, we're going to double? I don't know. Or is he in it? I don't know. He ain't moving him very easy, dude. No, he's not. Okay, I'll get the net. He was like, must have been tail kicking that one. You got that drift sock, don't forget about that. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Didn't roll, didn't do nothing. He just sat down on the bottom. He's definitely in that other line. That's all right, though. At least we don't have a mystery if he were to come off at this point in time. We got him. Nice. All right, quit it. Yeah, you did a much better job of hooking him than I did my last two. <laughs> oh, he cut. He cut the line. Huh? That's weird. That's really weird. No. Well, Is that? He sawed right through it, huh? Well, that sucks. Yeah. That's really weird. You didn't have to worry. About, I mean, I don't know. I've never seen that. I guess it's not the most abrasion resistant stuff. <laughs> <laughs> If a blue cat with no scales can cut. All right. Huh. Yeah, weird. Grips behind you. I think that's a good note to uh, head back and get our tents set up. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. You want a picture with him or you want to just sure. throw? Okay. Well, let go. Him grippers are extra grippy. Ooh. Yep, good idea. You gotta lift the orange. Don't worry about pushing the silver thing, just lift the orange. There you go. They're childproof. <laughs> I'm ready for some brisket. And that sun is pretty much behind the mountain now. Where's that log? I can see the bottom. Maybe that's must be what we got high centered on. Oh no, I got hung up there. Just big and oh, it dropped. Look how much the water's dropped. Hmm.
We're making it. Might have to look for a better spot because I think it's supposed to drop more. Throw the anchor up there and use that to pull you up. Boots. Oh, it is the boots time of year. I just don't want it to drop more and then have the boat get high centered and then not be able to push it off. You can grab that trolling motor too if you want. I mean, that's close enough. All right, we are, we are home for the evening. I think Chris is relieving himself. I'm gonna go look for a better spot to hopefully park the boat. Hopefully there is one, there might not be one. So I think it's supposed to drop even more, but I don't know, we'll figure it out. Where, where's he at? Oh yeah, it's an armadillo. Is he eating something? I think he's eating something. He definitely does not care that we're here. He's off to do armadillo things. I'm gonna be really tickled if we get one tonight. Cause like I said, I camped here two nights and uh, we never had a bite. But it's too nice of a spot not to camp here compared to everything else. I just lifted my arm up accidentally when I picked up my cot and it's not good. Oh, you did what? I lifted my arm up when I picked up my cot. Doesn't smell great. Oh. You got the fire, the kindling? Okay. I got some good fire starters. I'll get this going. I try to. Shouldn't be a problem. Got the old Bigfoot bushcraft fire starters. They do what they say they do. Use promo code Spencer Bauer and you save 10%. Oh. I just happened to look up at one of the fishing rods and it got bounced. Huh. Cool. How's this thing work? Oh, wrong button. Try this one. Hey, that one works. That looks like fire to me. Definitely not an expert fire starter. Definitely a reason I have to use fire starters. Everything is kind of wet. I'll let you mess with that. I'm hungry. I'm going to make some brisket. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think the smartest way to warm up the brisket is? Not hot and fast. I would do it. Do I put like oil? Put oil on it or? A little oil in the pan. I wouldn't like fry it or anything. All right. There should be a lot of fat in it, so. That's why I ask such things. Chris was, took upon himself the liberty of bringing brisket, 
which I'm a sucker for brisket. Hopefully I don't ruin it. That brisket smells phenomenal. I hope it tastes good. I haven't even tried it. Yep. I'm going to eat all this and I'm going to sleep good. Mm -hmm. I'm going to eat all this and I'm going to sleep good. I think we got one. I don't know if he's big or if he's hung on that ledge, but he's all right. He interrupted my brisket. Welcome interruption. Now, he ain't too bad. Kind of feels like a flat head. Oh, we got another bite. Oh, these bites on these steep ledges are weird. Goes from about two to 40 feet in an instant. Oh, I keep them out of them sticks. I think that's the double hook rig. Oh no. Come on, get off of there. He's there he came over top, sweet. Tried to give him the boots I best best I could, but he sailed over. Yeah, he's pretty nice. Yeah. He ain't bad at all. Drug him up that ledge. Well, I'm just going off of what happened in the past, but I kind of switched things up just a smidge. What'd you switch up? He's in the ballpark for sure. I bet he's every bit of 30 pounds. <laughs> you didn't step on my brisket, did you? I don't know where your brisket is. It's on the front deck. It looks not stepped on. Yeah, I'm getting the grippers. I'm tired. I'm over the tear my hands up stage of my life. And I got two sets, so I really have no reason. Yeah, that is a nice one. <laughs> Surprising. I've camped here like two years ago or something like that, and I don't think we caught a fish off the bank um, in two nights. And this one took an hour. I'll take it. I'm pretty sure I would have taken him anyway, anyhow. And the water's dropping too. Hopefully not enough to dry dock our boat, but I don't know. We'll evaluate that one in the morning if we have to. More brisket. Good morning. Um, they were supposed to drop the water four inches. They decided to drop it a foot. My boat is dry docked. Not entirely, entirely, but it's pretty, it's not good. Chris and I had a conversation where I said, man, wouldn't it suck if we woke up and my boat was dry docked? And you're like, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't do that to us. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried to move it? Me? Like pushed on it at I all? Just, I just went on it. <laughs> oh well the good news is i checked and it's supposed to come back up tonight tonight yeah okay. <laughs> so we might be bank fishing for a while yeah i was only supposed to drop four inches tva says <laughs> I'll show you what four inches looks like. Will it move? I felt like there might have been some buoyancy when I hopped off of it. Uh, he's pretty solid. If 
felt it move about a half inch. Did you? <sighs> I really thought we could move it there. <laughs> Our game plan right now is to drink coffee, get our brains working, and get this boat moved some way, somehow. I mean, it's... See, I'm watching that stick underneath the net there. Yeah. Less of it showing when they're Actually, that other stick on the other side I've been looking at, there might be less of that showing than there was, See? like an inch. I'm telling you, it's coming up. Not super fast, yeah. but it's coming up. I'll take all the help we can get. It'd be sweet if it got to the point where it wasn't rotating on the V on the bottom. <laughs> And you know, at least it's sitting on mud and not rock. Yeah. That would bother me. Hello, honey. Chris, we are literally stranded on an island. That just hit me. Yeah. I, told, I made a joke yesterday. Spencer was asking what I thought about it. All right, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to wrap the video up right here. This is going to be my first sequel. Will I be stuck on this island? for the rest of my days or will we be able to get the boat moved and get on with fishing? I mean, I don't know, it's not nearly that dramatic. It's, it's not that big of a deal. We'll, we'll, we'll figure out something, but I'm gonna end this video and uh, get another one started. But hope you enjoyed it so far. If you liked it, you hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you at the next one. Hope you catch giant.